Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Futures. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, today we will see one topic where we have to create a data frame from different paths and different file formats dynamically. Means, for example, there is an input data identifier, okay, which is coming as the input to the Spark job. Let's Im imagine this requirement, okay. Let's say there is an input parameter which says that which data to be read in the Spark job. And if that is customer, like if the input to the Spark job is customer, then you need to read the customer data that might be from the, as a csv file format or any other file format it's not necessarily be that all the input identifiers that we are getting as the input will have the same file formats also okay so so here we have to see two requirements first one is based on the input data identifier that we are receiving as input to the spark job we have to identify the path which path we have to uh, select for reading that uh, that uh, as per the input data identifier and also what is the format of that file okay so this way if the input data identifier equal to customer then create a data frame from customer data path from a csv file if the input data identifier is states then create data frame data frame from states data path from a json file this customer states users user data are given for example okay be this you can change it as per your requirement here the main what my main intention is to read the data files from different file formats okay based on the input data identifier now let's see how can we achieve this okay for this right friends i have created a dictionary in this dictionary if you see here i have two uh, values like this is the key and inside the values I have two values here okay in this it's like a tuple so if the how I am considering is if the key is customer then it will be a CSV format and it is this path because we will not know in the runtime how can we pass all these things like we can have the if else commands multiple times uh, and that will not have a proper code readability for that reason, I, I have created a dictionary like this. So, this is the input parameter that we are receiving from a Spark job. And inside that, the value, value means this is the key, right, in the dictionary. So, the second parameter, which is the value in this dictionary. In that, it is a tuple and the first uh, element says what is the file format and the second element says what is the path of it we have to know the data path correct so this can be done by passing the input parameters as well like every time if it's customer then you can just mention the csv and you can mention the path that but what will happen is that's not a good coding practice right passing everything in the uh, input file okay because we we should not be sharing the uh, data paths and all in the spark submit comment that's not a good practice so for that reason i have come up with this dictionary which will have the key as the input data identifier and the value as the tuple of the file format and the file path now we have i am creating this uh, dictionary okay so now what we have to do we have to first define the input data identifier because if this is just the databricks notebook right so i i am not getting as input from the spark job so i i, I am uh, just hard coding it here okay so now let's take customer okay now what we have to do we have to get the input path based on this input data identifier correct so input path equal to then we have this input dict here what is this is the dictionary whatever we have created here right the same input dictionary then i am saying that from this dictionary get the value of this key because this is the key uh, inside the get function uh, from from the dictionary if you wanted to get the value based by sending the key right then we use this get function so get of this key 
what is this key here customers which means that this one so for this key when we say dictionary dot get of this key it will return this value okay now as we see here right uh, it is a tuple correct okay so now uh, let's say you are giving some customers one or something okay which is not present so first we have to do the check as well right so what we will check is if input path present okay if input path is present then only what we have to do this get will return the tuple which will have this two columns so we have to untuple this correct so for that what we have to do is we will read and we will assign some variable to that uh, values so first one is csv means what file format okay okay that's indentation issue so it came in red color and what is the second one second one is the input file path and from where we need to get is input path okay so this is the input path okay from here because it is what is this it is returning the tup, uh, value for the given key what is the value here it's a tuple so that's why we are uh, getting it okay we, we are dividing that tuple into the variables and we are fetching the values now we have to create an input data frame out of it because we have the uh, input file type uh, in the sense what is the file format and we have the path name as well right so now we have all the requirements for creating a data frame now let's create a data frame like spark dot read dot then again we have to put the option because some files will have the uh, header now here inside the format we will use the api format and here we will pass this file format here whatever we have received from this uh, unpackaged this tuple right so that one we will pass for the format and we have to give the path as well right input path so for that reason input file path will be sent to the load api so format api will read the given format and load will give this load uh, of the loading of the given input file path okay now else you can have any kind of uh, uh, action here in else and if you don't want then no need to have also okay just for example i'm just giving here okay okay no input path and finally we say input pf dot show so here um, I have given a CSV file, right? One CSV and one JSON, one Parquet and one Avro, right? You can pass the Hive table as well here. The similar way you can, what you can pass is you give some identifier, you give here Hive because here we are using the format API. It will consider Hive also format and in the load, right? In the second uh, parameter, you give the table name along with the uh, database, like database name dot table name, okay? So that is also will work. So I'll just uh, put it like a comment here so that you guys can try that out. So in the dictionary, uh, just put it like some hive, okay, which is the identifier, comma, in the tuple, give as hive, comma, uh, db name, dot, table name, okay. So now in this case, you just give this uh, some hive, uh, which is the key here, right? If you pass that here, uh, you can read this hive table as well so in the so what uh, i'm trying to say is in a single spark job it can read any type of data for you if it's not definite that you will be getting only one type of file format it might be orc csv json xml uh, even hive anything you can read it with a single line of the code okay your spark job will be able to capture that input details and it will uh, create the data frame accordingly okay so now let's run this to see what exactly we have done is currently working or not so here i am mentioning the input data uh, identifier as customer so customers means it should read this customer csv details so i'm just running it and you can see customer number card type correct it has given this uh, um, customer details okay then next is state see this is the second uh, key for that 
so i'll just change the states okay nothing else because this dictionary is already predefined you don't even have to run again and again i ran it only once right and then i'm just changing this input data identifier which means that this can be passed as input okay and uh, you will once you are if you are passing the input data identifier from your as input to your job then you you can ignore this line in the code and this line will be automatically able to take it up in the during the runtime now if you can see capital some because the file has some correct records okay that's why now the state so state and capital both the records are there which means that even we are able to read the state's data without changing anything in the input data plane and similarly let's check one uh, parquet format so if you see here it has given some details okay user de details okay this is in the parquet format and even avro also let's try okay even avro we are able to fetch it so this way we can write one dynamic spar job to read any kind of data just by understanding the input parameter okay next thing is you can try this hive as well the same thing using adding just by adding this statement in the i mean this value in this uh, input data dictionary at the end right you can just put a comma and then you can add whatever you want and then try this out and let me know if you are facing any issues okay hope this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you